Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to do a simple transition effect using layer settings. So the other day I was working on one of my cartoons and I wanted to create an effect where a night sky transitioned into a daytime sky. Now I'm used to working in flash and what I would have simply done there was put one symbol over the other and tween the top symbol's transparency downward until the bottom layer appeared, giving off the effect of going from day to night. Well, with Anime Studio, you do a similar concept to that, except it's a little bit different, and it's kind of a hidden feature, or at least it seemed hidden to me. So I thought I would do this tutorial for those of you who may want to do a similar effect. So to demonstrate, what I have here is a nighttime sky, and as I page through the timeline, you'll notice that it gradually gets brighter, the stars disappear, the clouds become more solid, and the hills change to a lighter color. It's as simple as that. So how do we achieve this effect? Well, first, let's open up a file that has no um, transition effect attached to it so we can start from scratch. So locate a file or an object in Anime Studio so you can follow along. Okay, so I have reverted my file. So now when I page through, there is no animated effect for this scene. We just had the sun come up, but we don't have the sky change. Now typically in Anime Studio, if you make a change on the timeline anywhere, what happens is the timeline usually animates between two keyframe points. So let's say, for instance, that at this scene right here, I want um, at frame 48 for the clouds to start becoming more solid as the sun goes up and reaches its peak at about frame 144. So what I could do is go into clouds, the clouds layer, by double clicking on it and choosing to change the opacity to 100% and click OK. I can do that, but you'll notice as I page through the um, timeline, when I go backward, that we don't have an animated effect taking place. That is because we need to select an option in that layer to make it so that this effect animates. So let me just undo what I did there really quick and put those back to 50%. Now, what we want to do is go into clouds or whatever layer you're working with and choose allow animated layer effects. This will now allow us to do the method that I just proposed where you lay down keyframes at certain points in the timeline and then Anime Studio will animate between those keyframes. So, at frame two, we want the clouds to start changing. So we're gonna to want to apply a keyframe at two seconds in, sorry, not frame two, two seconds in, frame 48. So what we do here is on that frame, we'll double click. With this option now selected, we'll choose the opacity to be 51% and click okay. Just something minuscule, just we'll just bump it up 1% from its original state. That way now you can see it will place a keyframe at that point. And we have now that layer opacity um, marker on our timeline to indicate that. So from here now, we can go all the way up to frame 120 or 144, wherever we want. Double click on that layer again and change the opacity then to 100% and click OK. And now, of course, we now have a new keyframe. And if we page through here, we can see that the opacity changes now gradually as the sun rises. So now we can do the same for all the other different types of layers here. So for instance, you'll see that I have a nighttime and daytime sky layer. I want the nighttime sky layer to go away gradually so that the daytime sky appears underneath it gradually. 
It's kind of what I described with the symbols in Flash. You have one symbol over the other. So let's double click on the nighttime sky layer and we'll enable the effects. And then let's go to about frame 48 or two seconds in and we will double click then on the nighttime sky layer, change the opacity to 99. Again, just to set down that keyframe and then we'll go to about frame 144 again, double click, and then we'll change this to zero to get rid of it completely and click OK. And you can now see that we now have daytime sky showing exclusively, but during this we have the transition up here. So now we can go through and do this with a number of different um, layers depending on what we want to do. I want to get rid of the stars, so double click on the stars, choose animated layer effects, and I'm already on my frame 48, so I will just choose 99%, click OK, we'll go to the 144 mark, double click, and choose zero, and hit OK. And finally, I will do the same thing for the hills. So I'll go back to my frame 48, and what I'm gonna do here is what I did with the nighttime sky. I'm going to get rid of the nighttime hills gradually. So I'll double click on the nighttime hills layer, choose allow animated layer effects, choose 99%, Go to frame 144, double click, choose zero, and hit OK. And there we go, that's all there is to it. As you can see now, we have the effect in place. Again, it's a little bit cumbersome because you have to do a lot of double clicking and going in and marking keyframes, but it beats having to do this in an external program. Originally, I was going to take two images of the nighttime and daytime and then bring it into Premiere and then do a transition and then bring it back into Anime Studio, but it just seemed like such a hassle to do that. And then I realized that with a simple check of the box, you could animate the effects in Anime Studio. It's just not really apparent at first, or at least it wasn't to me when I was working on it. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. I have more tutorials coming up, so stay tuned.